While siblings Aidan and Orly might not be able to agree who's best, something they can agree on, in Orkney, time is best spent playing outside. I walk every day, even if it's like really stormy, I still walk. And sometimes I would swim in the sea. Mum's been the best in the sea. <laughs> she can just walk in. And me and Aidan just go running in and then out. Uh, sometimes just play on the beach, which can be fun. And then looking for cool shells. Um, what's the plan today then? What um, what beach are we going to go to? Inganness. I'm yeah. going to go to the, the normal one. We go Inganness, to Inganness, yeah, we go to that because it's really close, isn't it? Yeah, and you can, touch, and and you can touch the ship. And there's a ship right. There is the yeah. ship right. Orkney is often ranked as one of the best places to live in the UK, and that's not just because of its beaches. But did you know it isn't actually just one place? It's a large group of islands off Scotland's north coast. Hundreds of years ago, Orkney was part of Norway, under Norwegian and Danish control. But it became part of Scotland in 1472, when King James III received the Orkney Islands as a gift to help secure his marriage to Princess Margaret of Denmark. While that was a long time ago, the links between Orkney and Norway are still celebrated here on Norwegian Constitution Day. A procession, which is called the Tog, sees people marching through the streets from the harbour to this St Magnus Cathedral, which was built by the Vikings and is believed to contain the bones of St Magnus himself, who is the patron saint of Orkney. And now some people want those links to become even stronger, changing Orkney's relationship with the UK. Council leaders are even looking at possible options to break away from the UK, including becoming part of Norway instead. I feel like it could be quite useful because they could help us in quite a few things, such as resources, building, even money-wise. It was originally a part of Norway before it became part of Scotland, so it'd make kind of more sense to become a part, but it like to learn Norwegian and stuff. I think it's pretty good because of resource-wise, and they could build like a power plant instead of going to the mainland, the new water tunnel. We could make our own electricity since we make hundreds of more volts than we need to with all the windmill and the water-powered things. Right now, the British and Scottish government are going through uh, dealing with strikes. I feel that they're not really focusing on the main small but precious parts of Scotland and England. Councillors here have been debating the independence of Orkney. They say they've been treated unfairly by both the UK and Scottish governments. They argue that they haven't been given enough money to maintain essential services like ferries to the mainland. The Scottish government says that they will get almost £90 million to fund those services, whereas the UK government well, they say the UK is always stronger united. 